Hey there, fellow traders. This is Austin. It is Sunday, April 9th. I don't know if you're watching this video conversation here on the same day, minutes from now, or hours from now, or days from now, or whatever the case may be. But I do know you're here for the exact same reason everyone else is. There's only one reason people subscribe to you know, my channel here on YouTube about short-term trading or other channels as well, why you visit my website, other websites, whatever the case may be. One reason only, and you all share this. You are looking for improvement to your short-term trading approach, if you even have one. Either you're looking for a short-term trading approach that works, and I mean really works, and, and by really works, that is through the worst possible market conditions, and then naturally it will during the best, most favorable, or you have something, and it's okay, and you're looking to enhance that or improve that. Right? One of the two, either you have nothing and you're looking for something, or you have something and you're looking for more. That's why you're here, because there's no other logical reason to be here. Uh, if that weren't the case, you're wasting your time. Please don't. If you have no interest in improving your short-term intraday trading approach, go ahead and unsubscribe from this channel. Don't ever tune in my website again, and please invest your time doing something else, because life's too short to waste. But if you are like the vast majority of people who are interested in improving their game, we can do that for you. We can do that with you. You know, I have spent a decade plus in the in the evolution of uh, a short-term trading in the in, uh, following the evolution of markets. They were so different when I started. My financial markets were so different when I started. They're unrecognizable now from then. You know, wild volatility, screaming price movement, huge ranges, monstrous ranges. You know, several hundred points a day in the Dow were not uncommon. Uh, 40, 50, 70 points in the S&P intraday range is not uncommon. 200, 300, 400 ticks in crude oil intraday range is not uncommon, you know, through the years. Same thing with Russell and all that and all else. Until now where we have historically low volatility and an practically no price movement some days look, and look at crude oil and I'm, I'm pointing this out for a reason I have an email from a client a long time <clears throat> um, team member and they said hey Austin you know like what you're doing what can you add about uh, crude oil as far as you know picking off like 20 ticks a day or whatever and I said it's barely feasible for two reasons number one the ranges are so tiny that it's tough to pick, it's, it's tough to capture, say, 20 ticks out of 30 or 40 tick moves. And number two, the uh, constant V-chop, the two-way chop, makes it, really and makes it really tough to capture a directional move either way because you're getting back chopped so hard. And the reply to that was, uh, thanks so much for your honesty and clarity. I think I'll wait until volatility and ranges return to crude oil before I trade again. That's fine. That's a choice. Okay, but it may never happen. Well, it might, it, it, but who knows when. If it does, it could be weeks from now or months or years. It could be 2019 before conditions are such that, you know, crude oil makes consistently large ranges intraday. Who knows? So, in essence, that trader is parked on the sideline, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with being on the sideline. Just don't bother with with markets. Right, just do something else with your time is all I'm suggesting. You know, the worst possible thing someone can do is trade, is turn trading and markets into a pipe dream. If it's something that a person holds on to, well, maybe someday, you know, which is which the road to someday leads to nowhere. Maybe someday I'll do this, that, or the other thing. Don't live like that. You know, invest your time in in today and now, and then worry about the uncertainty of the future when it comes. Honestly. But if you're interested in trading now in serious fashion, um, crude oil is not really offering the opportunity, and it hasn't for a long time, years even. But now it's worse than I've ever seen, worse than anyone's ever seen in modern history. And uh, here's an example from Friday, just pulling at random. So there's the open range, and then they stab through. This is a quick stab and a pop inside of five minutes. And then they did this quick pop, and they back chopped right down from to where they started. And then they did this quick pop, and they pulled back. And then this one, and they back chopped all the way here. And so what they're what they're doing is you're thinking failure, like okay, it, it's failing to go up. Is it going down? Keeps going up. 
goes up and comes down and like okay that move is over with maybe it's going down you know and then it just keeps going up and so the back chop this stuff back chop um, pull back back chop back chop makes it incredibly hard to catch the direction that it's going because it's it's you know trading against the trend so hard and the overall range sucks what's this 5150 on that little stab to 52.30, that's an 80 tick overall range. That's nothing compared to what it used to be. And the real range is from 51.70 to about 52.20, okay, which is about a 50 tick range overall. Damn hard to pull 20 ticks out of a 50 tick real range when it back chops like that. That's the problem with crew. Day after day after week, it's just comatose dead. Now, as far as the S&P goes, I'm not saying it's a lot better. You know, there's not a lot of range and expansion here, but it doesn't, it, it gives you more directional, more methodical movement directionally in order to catch something. It doesn't spike one way and then slam backwards the other. The other thing about crude oil is it's just incredibly illiquid right now. It's tough to get filled, even on one contract sometimes without slippage because there's just no one trading. Okay, so the point is, let's say you have a method and an approach dialed in and you're all set and that works and you're trying to apply it to the wrong market in the wrong market conditions, you're going to fail. Okay, you could have a great method for normal methodical price action and then you try to apply it in something that is irrational and illiquid and wild, spiky, choppy pullback and stuff and it's, you're going to fail because it's the wrong market. Okay. There's an old saying, the market's never wrong, the trader is. That's not true. A lot of markets are wrong. They're way wrong now. They're so far out of whack from what right used to be, you can't even tell one from the other. And crude oil happens to be one of those. And I tell people, you know, play with what you want to play with and experiment with what you want to experiment with. But if your experimentations prove to you that you can't make money there, trust your data. Okay, that's why you're experimenting. That's why you're practicing. That's why you wait. That's why you're investing or wasting your time, whichever the end result may be, in in something that has no positive resolution. Now go back and look at all the YouTube videos that I've put up the past couple months or however long it's been of the CM scalper approach, where we're just looking to pick off two points and a tick, right? And sometimes greater. <clears throat> I mean, on Friday it was greater. It was three index points, and sometimes it could be four or five, and then other times it's going to be you know one and half and one and half or whatever. And some days no success, right? But that's all I'm doing. I'm looking for whatever the market will offer, and right now it's offering damn little. Okay, so you've got to accept damn little, and you've got to be all right with that on a daily basis. Well, if you're all right with that, and in right now, what are the absolute worst possible trading conditions in the history of ever? Okay, and if you can have consistent success there, what do you think things will be like when it improves someday? Because the markets aren't going to be this quiet forever. Eventually, there's going to be more volatility. Volume's going to come in. There are going to be sustained downtrends. There are going to be huge range of sell-off days and all kinds of wildness in the future. But you have to be able to tame these days. You have to be able to not only um, exist but but succeed in these days and then those will take care of themselves you know you'll get in a trade and it'll blow away and it'll be seven or eight s p index points in your favor and there you go instead of waiting for a couple of hours for price to fulfill a two point you know um, positive exit you wait a couple of minutes and it'll blast seven eight ten points in you know some ex volatility explosion and you'll book that out but you can't make a you can't make a career of those. In no different than the teammate the team member that I communicated with by email yesterday, actually on Saturday, who said, "Well, I'm just going to wait for crude oil to be more volatile." Well, that's just a period of time. If you cannot make money in crude oil the way it is right now, you you can't count on volatility being sustained forever, not for months or years. Then it's undoable. Right. There's this nobody in to paraphrase uh, Warren Buffett, which I have many times, you know, he's famously said something like no one rings a bell at market tops or bottoms. That's true. And no, nor does anyone ring a bell at the start or end of volatility. Nobody there's there's no day that it begins where, you know, someone rings a bell. Today's going to be special. You know, it's going to be a 300 tick range in crude oil or it's going to be a 40 index point range in the S&P. We, we never know. Okay, you have to go into each day assuming that whatever you're trying to accomplish 
is possible. And every single day that you step into the S&P, for example, it is possible to come out with one or two index points net. That's entirely possible any given day with few exceptions. Okay, but trying to pull 20 or 30 or 40 ticks out of crude oil right now in the pit session, that's impossible. It simply cannot happen, and it does not happen. Okay, so make sure that whatever you're doing works, first of all, and, by, and then apply that in a market that will allow you to work. And the term works means, literally means, where you have opportunity to um, have, you know, favorable, favorable excursion of, of your trading. Okay, success. You can put a trade on. It's not going to chop you out of the stop before it moves to your common profit objective. It's that simple. That's all I have to say in this half of the newsletter. There's a second half um, in, in production right now, and I'm going to talk about how I've simplified my trading approach to um, achieve the results that I have here on a daily basis. And I'm doing that really inside the window of 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time until noon. If you trade different hours or you know different instruments, currencies or bonds or you know foreign indexes or whatever, that's perfectly fine. I'm simply sharing with you the... Um, you know, overall approach that within a, a short period of time, you can create the same consistent results if you're doing what we're doing. And I'll also talk about uh, that opportunity there. So hope this helps. I will see you with the next production. And as always, best trading wishes.